Yo, I didn't see this coming. Your boy Will Smith breaks the silence and exposes. He said, I allowed my wife to get some young meat. She put that kugel on that boy, then cut him off, left him leaking and dry. I'm like, good God. I mean, what do you say or think when you hear someone say that? It just blew my mind. That the fans, the people, the people that follow both Jada and Will, don't understand the extent of their open relationship, right? What both parties are able to do without the other one getting jealous. But if you read the statement, which I'm going to get to in a minute, Jada, I mean, Will said, look, Jada told August that it's temporary. We're not permanent. We're not an item. We're having fun. Enjoy the time that we are spending together. And I think that August got into his feelings. And I would have too. Look, Jada is smart, beautiful, talented, powerful, full of experience, right? And he fell in love and he thought that maybe she said, look, this is temporary, but I can penetrate. I can make her fall in love with me just like I'm in love with her. And that's why he's in his feelings. But look, like Will said, we're in an open relationship. Many people don't understand it. You see, this whole thing is Hollywood type thing, man. I would never ask another man to knock down my wife, man. Nor would I let another man smash or touch my wife in any type of way. And when I talk about, you know, open relationships, I'm talking about me doing my thing with other females and my shorty doing other things with other females and we bring it together and we move and shake. Don't get it twisted, man. I don't believe in the skinny jeans and fitting to the shape of my body and the way these dudes are doing, man. Wearing purses and wearing makeup and wearing lipsticks and wearing hand polish and this type of thing and you know jadis and and will i mean they moving and shaking in a different type of way and this is the reason why the fans are outraged because they believe the children have seen this in the household for years and years and look their parents are being praised their parents are making millions their parents are celebrities with power right so i can see how the people and the fans from the outskirts are sitting back saying come on man that's a bad example yeah if you look at Dwayne wade child right and you see everything that he's going through i know you can't direct your child to do exactly what you would want them to do right but we've been through it so we try to show them things so they don't have to go through it but the little dude colored his hair red <laughs> So why is Dwayne Wade hair red? And why is Dwayne Wade wearing blouses and dresses? I mean, it's spooky. And truth be told, August already was a weirdo. Wearing funny hats, wearing funny scarf, wearing all type of funny type of clothes. Looking all flamboyant out there. But that's that R&B lifestyle. Females be getting it twisted, thinking it's sexy. But it's something going on, man. I think Will and Jada turned that boy out, man. I feel bad for him. But if you didn't know, August also was molested as a child. So he was already in that funny type of space you see what i'm saying my point is this i don't understand why he gave that interview to angela Yee. like he should have gave that to oprah you see what i'm saying he should have gave it to somebody that was gonna put him on top i mean look nothing against what other people do behind their closed doors under the sheets i have no issues with that my only problem is is that if you're going to get into a relationship a friendship with someone be open right and let them know what it is from the beginning I know Will said that Jada told him, but I have my doubts that she told him in the way that Will made it seem. Because for me, if a woman like that was to approach me and rock with me, deal with me, let me move and shake, get up in those cookies, and she tells me, look, this is fun, I would call it fun. I would not catch feelings. I will keep my distance when I need to and get close when I have to. I remember dealing with this one woman older woman right this was like three years ago she will always come check me and then when she did she wanted to hang out go to the bars and drink and get crazy i was a little bit younger so i was moving and shaking but i wasn't really a party guy i would only go to satisfy her but like the 10th time it took me the 10th time to like realize and feel like yo i was being used i said yo how come every time we chill we can't just chill in my crib and watch a movie and just be easy and she never had a real answer for it. And I told her, I feel like you just want to, you know, use me to have fun and go back to your crib in Jersey where it's all good money and just come see me when it's fun time. And I'm not about that life because I really, really like you, right? So one time, if it wasn't that same night, <laughs> going to the club, to the bar with her, we chilling at one table. It was some dudes at the other table. I guess they was looking at us here and there because my shorty was bad, Dominican. Blue eyes, white skin. I mean, beautiful thing. You dig me? I'm trying to tell you. So 
she started kissing me real provocative, real erotic, real crazy and salacious. I'm talking about licking my face, my nose. I think she put her, her tongue up my nose. I mean, it was so loud the way she was kissing me. It made the other people at the other table watch and was like, what's going on? And I felt like maybe she's showing out, you know what I mean? Showing how you know crazy she get down for those dudes because she never did that to me in a club. But from that point on, I knew something was up with Shorty. And now I call her lying. I ain't going to say her name. Matter of fact, she don't know I got a YouTube page. I call her lying Eileen. <laughs> you dig? Her name was Eileen. Lying Eileen because she lied about a lot of different things. But my point is, older women believe that younger men are so naive that we'll do any and everything they want us to do. And that's where the problem happens. Just like August fell in love with Jada. Now he's online expressing his feelings and his thoughts, exposing some things that she probably don't want exposed. Like I said before, this is old news. Everybody knew that Jada was getting it on with the young boy in August. But let's get to Will Smith's statement. And I'm a paraphrase phrase Austin is a young old soul that has a lot of talent whatever happened between him and my wife behind closed doors I have no knowledge of anytime Jada speak about Austin to me it's all positive anytime I hang out or talk to Austin on the phone he never brings up anything about my wife that's the beautiful thing about having an open marriage where both parties agree to certain terms and conditions and this is no different I don't know what happened to make them break up or split or not be attached to one another anymore. All I can say is he's a great young man and I'm happy to be married to Jada. He said a whole bunch of other things, but we talked about that throughout this video, man. Give me your thoughts. Let me know how you feel about this thing. But listen, man, this is a real G right here, man. I got love for your boy Will Smith. And I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people in the black community should take note. Because we always talk about cheating, whether it's the man or the woman. Sometimes, if you know, I think if we take a step back and just say, look, if we had an open relationship, we won't have those problems. We can eliminate that. And having an open relationship gives both parties the opportunity to look and come back and say hey that's not for me I miss what I have here and the bond can be more stronger and a lot of people need to understand that going to a relationship or a marriage is a business right and being that it's a business you should look at it that way and don't you know feel some type of way if you bring someone else into the fold because that's just more revenue that's just more money that's just more opportunities for everybody involved you rocking with your boy give me your thoughts on this thing holla at me peace <laughs>